okay good day everybody you're welcome once again so i always have this question of how many bags of feed or what quantity of feed would 1000 fishes consume all right and i think it's a very good question because a lot of times before you go into the business you actually want to know the quantity of feed that your fish will consume i don't know if the question is the quantity of the feed or the price of the feed i mean those are two different things and right now in nigeria you know we have three types of feed we have the imported feeds that's the copens the alakwa the scratching then we have the making made in nigerian branded feed that's olam that's blue crown echo floats and you know um vital feed um chief feed they are made in nigeria all right and then we have the indigenous feeds that's the one you make by yourself you go to a local feed meal to actually make them by yourself all right so all these feeds have different prices and the price of their sizes also differ that is the 2mm is more expensive than the 3mm 3mm is more expensive than the 4mm 4mm is more expensive than the 6mm then if it is sinking or if it is floating it also matters if it is floating it's usually more expensive than sinking feeds all right so those are criteria or, or statistics that affect the prices of the feeds all right and thus if you are thinking um the price or the or the quantity of the feed i mean those are things that will always make or match the figures all right but talking about the quantity of feed that the fish will take this is dependent on the target weight of the fish so if you ask me what quantity of um, feed will 1000 fishes take I will ask you those 1000 fishes how big do you want to grow them to all right so we would re-ask the question so if you say what kind of what quantity of feed will 1000 fishes take I will ask you what quantity what size of fish do you expect the fish to grow to do you get what I mean so um because there's something we call fcr fcr is called feed conversion ratio feed conversion ratio means the way the feed that you give the fish the way it converts it to flesh so united nations will tell you that um, the feed conversion ratio of fish is one to one that means if you give fish one kg of feed it will give you one kg of flesh however because of inefficiency of raising systems the real FCR that we have in Nigeria is usually like 1.2 to 1. That means you will give the fish 1.2 kg of feed before the fish will give you 1 kg of flesh. Do you understand? So if you are using 1.2 kg of feed to give 1 kg of flesh, that should let you know that if your target weight is that each fish should get 1 kg, then you will need to have given the fish 1.2 kg of feed do you understand so for 1000 fishes if you want the 1000 of them to get to 1000 kg that's one ton each of them one kg then you must have at least given 1.2 thousand that's 1200 kg of feed however let me mention you know that um we are dealing with livestock livestock is not mathematics it's not one plus one is equals to one it's not equals to two so if you have 1000 fishes in your pond for you to i know people have told you that eh, they got one kg in four months the reality is that you are probably thinking about the smallest fish in your pond so for you to say you have 1000 fishes that are one kg the smallest one should be one kg so if out of 1000 fishes i have five fishes that get to one kg in four months will i say i have one kg fishes no i don't but for me to say I have one kg fishes, the smallest one, that means at least over 80% of the fishes should have gotten to one kg. So, to be quite honest, for you to have 1,000 fishes and you have 80% of them that have gotten to one kg, you are probably looking at six months of rearing it from juvenile. That is when you can be guaranteed to say all your fishes have gotten to one kg. So, but not everybody needs their fish to go to one kg. I mean, depending on who your target market is, if you are selling fish, for instance, now to fish smokers, they don't want their fish to grow, they don't want their fishes to be one kg. They want their fishes to be like three pieces, one kg. That's melange. Melange is fish that is between 200 gram to 500 gram. All right? So they want, so you, you are not going to raise 
the fishes, you are not going to feed the fishes 1.2 ton, 1.2 kg to get to 1 kg. Do you get that? You are going to bring that forward. So for you to get to like 300 gram, you need to have fed the fish like 360 gram of weight. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? So it depends on who you want to sell your fish to. If you want to sell your fishes to pepper soup joints, they also don't want their fishes to be as big as 1 kg. Apart from some, you know, some very premium restaurants that even want their fishes to be 2 kg so that when they too they are selling it, you know, their plate of pepper soup is a food. You don't need to add any other thing, you know. But ordinarily, most pepper soup joints want their fishes to be like 600 grams, 700 grams, big enough to be um, presentable in a plate, but small enough to be affordable for the clients. You understand that so if that fish should be like 600 grams 700 grams then you are also not raising you are also not using one kg to feed that you use like 600 and maybe 720 gram don't worry the way i'm saying all this calculation is because i know about it and it's my industry i know how many how many weights i need to feed the fish to get to something so at 720 gram of feed spent then i know i would get at least 600 gram of fish weight do you get that? So, a bag of feed in Nigeria now is about 15 kg averagely. The floating bags are 15 kg. The sinking feed bags are 25 kg. Then, you know, your own feed, if you are making your own feed, you are probably bagging 50 kg bags. All right. So, for us to say how many bags of feed will 1,000 fishes consume, with all these my calculations, let's now use, say, we want them to get to 1 kg. Then, that means we want to feed 1,200 kg of feed. And if we are feeding 1,200 kg of feed and the bag is 15 kg bag, then we'll divide 1,200 kg by 15 kg to give us the total number of bags. That should be about 67 thereabouts um, bags. All right. Then you now times that by the price of the feed that you are using. Okay. So I thought to add this section in to help you calculate your fish FCR. Don't forget, FCRs can change from fish batch to another fish batch. Now, for you to know this, you have to know the initial stocking weight of your fishes. That means, if you brought in fingerlings or juveniles, what was their weight when you brought them in? For you to do this, you have to weigh the fishes when you bring them in. So, for instance, in 1,000 fishes, it is good to weigh 10% or at most 15%. So, for 1,000 fishes, we are weighing 150 fishes in total. You bring out 50 fishes, you weigh it. You bring out another 50 fishes, you weigh it. You bring out another 50 fishes to weigh it. By the time you divide the 50, the weight by the number of fishes, you can know how much one fish weigh. So that is how to know the initial stocking average weight of your fishes. This is important to know how you start. Next is for you to know the quantity of fish feed fed. So if each bag of feed weighs 15 kg, for you to know how many fishes your how many feed or the weight of the feed that your fish ate, after feeding the fish from a fresh bag of 15 kg, you will weigh what is left. That is how you will know, oh, they have consumed. So if it was 15 kg and you weigh and it's now 12 kg, that means they've ate 3 kg. So feed the fish at libitum for the first two weeks. That means keep feeding them. Of course, you know the quantity of feed they have ate. Or you can also use a preset that when it's 100 kg that they are fed in total, I would weigh, I would do my next average weight. So don't forget, we have weighed the fish initial stocking and now we have known the quantity of feed that they have ate. Next is for you to now take the second average weight. All right. So we knew what they were when they started. We know the quantity of feed that they have ate. Now we need to take the second average weight post feeding. All right. So with this, we can then know the average weight that they have gained. So if initially when we brought in the fishes, they were 10, 10 gram. And then after eating so, so and so, they have grown to 20 gram. The average weight grain is the new weight minus the old weight so they have grown 10 gram do you understand that so don't forget please when we are doing all this average weight because we do it regularly it is best for you to follow 
best management practices when doing such operations in your fish farm because you don't want to hear stories you don't want to say because you are taking average weight you are losing fishes all right so what i'm going to do now is i'll just quickly divert and show you some best management practices when you are handling fish on a farm now any work you are doing on the farm make sure you do it before the sun comes up or after the sun goes down that's why fish farmers our timing is very unique you know, we can start work by 6 a.m. or even 5.30 in the morning. You know, you, you wake up in the morning, you quickly go and remove the pond so that it can start draining water because it will take like 30 minutes or about 5 minutes early for your water to drain. All right. Then also make sure you starve the fish for 24 hours before major operations. Before and then 24 hours after. All right. Because if they vomit, they don't like the vomit kills them, you know. Then be very quick at work. Introduce water speedily. Be very prompt. It's not that's not the time to say, hey, let me quickly go and get something. Get everything you need before you even start handling on it. All right. Then lastly, gently put fish back into your pond. Reduce as much handling as possible. You don't need to transfer it to two, 10 buckets. Is there a way you can just do it just once and then gently lower the fish back into your pond? And you just throw it down. That fish will survive. All right. Now let's go back to the FCR. Don't forget the formula of FCR is feed consumed over the weight rec recorded weight gained all right feed consumed over new weight over weight gained all right weight gained is new weight minus old weight we've talked that so let me use an example if we bought 1000 juveniles all right and we take the average weight initially and we found out that it's eight grams when we bought it all right it's eight grams we then start feeding with 15 kg 2 mm feed all right so we are feeding, we are feeding. Then after three weeks, we discover that they have eaten two bags and just a little bit more, totaling about 38 kg that they've eaten. So two bags is 30 kg, then maybe 8 kg from the new bag. So that's three, that's 38,000 grams because 1 kg is 1,000 grams. So we know the average weight when we brought them, it was 8 grams. We know they've eaten 38 kg now over the past weeks. And then we... We then calculate that the number of fishes is 1,000 fishes. That means each fish has consumed 38 grams. Do you understand that? We are dividing the total number of feed in grams consumed by the total number of fishes that we have, 1,000 fishes. Of course, I know some of them would have died and the likes, but that's the number you will still use because that's the, one, that's the last um, valid number that you have. All right. Then we'll now take average weight again. And see that our fishes have grown from 8 grams that they were initially to 42 grams average weight now. So, you know, this is over like 2 weeks or 3 weeks that they've grown to 42 grams. So, we now have to know the weight gained. So, if now they are 42 grams, the new weight, and the former grams, the former weight that we measured when we got them was 8 grams, that means your fishes have added 34 grams in weight. Do you get that over that time? All right. Now, the next thing for you to do is remember our formula. Feed consumed over new weight minus old weight. So the feed consumed is 38 grams. Do you understand that? That we measured that they have eaten. And the weight gained is 34 grams that we measured that they have eaten. That's the flesh that the fishes have grown. You understand? So we now divide that 38 gram by 34 grams. The answer there is 1.1. So that means your FCR is 1.1. All right. Now, most times people use the words 1.1 to 1. That means for you to grow 1 kg, you have to feed this fish 1.1 kg of feed. Do you understand that? So that is a simple way of how to calculate your FCR. However, I also thought to mention that you have to do this regularly for accountability on your farm all right you have to do this regularly so that it's not just that you are feeding fish your fish must be showing the weight that they are eating all right it's not that you just bought feed for your farm hand you bought a 1000 kg and then you come back three months later to discover that hey, the fishes have not grown you now say somebody is selling your feed if you are taking average weight regularly if you are taking your fcr regularly you should be able to see the conversion of the feed that you are buying into um, into the flesh of the fish so that way you will not be scammed all right and then please small fishes are very efficient fcr so when they are juveniles the fcr can be 1.1 can be one 
But as they grow, that the FCR starts to slack to 1.2, 1.3. Do you understand? And this can also even help you to calculate your profitability. You know, I would explain that in your next video because if you know the cost of feed and you know the cost of FCR, then you can know the cost of the fish. My name again is Akin Fish. If this has helped you, please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Okay, so um, I said all of that to explain to you how you can calculate your own FCR first. All right. So with this my explanation, I think you now understand if I tell you that, oh, okay, if you are using, if you are hoping to use 1,200 kg of feed for 1,000 fishes to 1 kg, then you can divide 1,200 by 15 kg, which is the number of kg of feed in a bag, and that gives you 80 bags. So you can say if you want to raise 1,000 fishes to 1 kg each, don't forget what I said. That that means that the smallest fish in your pond is one kg. Not that uh, the biggest one is one kg. So that you can say all my fishes are one kg. You should be looking to use 1,200 kg of feed, which equals 80 bags of feed. So if you do that calculation, you will also realize that for you to raise fish to melange, that's between 250 grams to 500 grams. Um, you say, oh, I don't want my fish to get to 1 kg. I want it to be smoking size and sell. Then you'll be looking at 500 kg of feed or 600 kg of feed, which is half of that 1,200. And that should give you 40 bags of feed. Now talk about the price. Don't forget, based on the different makes, I've explained, I've mentioned some of the makes, the imported, the made in Nigerian feeds and the feeds you make on yourself. Based on the different make of feeds, um, the prices of the bag vary. And even the 2mm is more expensive than the 3mm, more expensive than the 4mm, more expensive than the 6mm, and then the 9mm. So all of this will affect the different prices of the feeds. But if you're looking at melange, 1,000 fishes, you're looking at about 40 bags. But if you want it to be 1 kg, you're looking at about 80 bags. Yeah. Bam. Don't forget what I said that all of the different prices have, all of the different brands of feeds have different prices. And with that, you can know the quantity of feed it will take for you to raise your fish to 1 kg. My name again is Akin Fish. Um, if you have questions, please ask in the comment section. All right, like and subscribe to my YouTube channel if this helps you in any way. And you can ask me any practical question on fish farming and I will be very pleased to answer for you. Bye-bye.